Gilead has some uh, August positioning, $1.6 million bet for August, $85 calls. And Gilead keeps getting August 85 pylon um, calls. Roku freaking out, 125 and looks higher, honestly. Oh, you know what I think? Wait a minute, which one, 87.50? August, August, August. Is that a bull risk reversal? No. Right. So I would do a, call, um, a finance call spread for Gilead. In fact, I'm gonna look at that myself right now. Way to heck out in August. The 80 by 85 call spread. Okay. And I wanna sell some puts against it. 70, this is such a wide move, right? How much does that cost? It's actually a credit, isn't it? Something's going on with Gilead. But they're doing August, so they're giving themselves some time. I prefer debit, maybe a May. Something's going on with it. I like the May finance call spread better for Gilead. And then we'll see what happens next week. A finance call spread again in Gilead. Did one for April. I don't know if it's gonna be May, June, August, but they had a few million in premium that came in directionally for Gilead. Something's getting ready to percolate. In this zone, above the 10 week is critical in my opinion. I mean, closing above. It has spiked below, taken lots of casualties. It is a wid, it comes by its name. You know, honestly, it's a widow maker. Everybody loved Gilead institutions and the like. And it has just been a money washer for three years. So it absolutely has to get above 80 and stay there, but this is constructive. This is the auction of buyers and sellers right here, week after week after week after week, despite all the coronavirus buzz. And I do like to see size coming in and I like to see it positioning. And that's what, that is definitely what it's doing. Um, Gilead has some kind of wild option activity going on. Archon, that's brilliant. You can buy a call spread and sell a put spread. So the 80-85 call, uh, call spread and sell a put spread, that's if you're really, really bullish, 65 by 60 for one cent debit. 